The Fremantle Dockers made a disappointing start to the season, going down to Melbourne by 22 points on Saturday. Their coach joins us now. And Justin, how did you sum up that loss? Oh, it was very disappointing, Barra. Um, yeah, we're off in a lot of factors. Um, you know, probably the most disappointing thing was our skill level. Um, we weren't able to make the most of our momentum, especially early, and you know, because of that, we were always on the back foot. So, a little bit to work on this week. And those injuries, Pierce and Hamling hurt again. Can you believe it? That's so cruel. How are they? Yeah, incredibly disappointing for both them and the club. Um, yeah, we've we'll, you know, we'll wrapped our arms around them. We'll support them through this. Um, you know, they've been here before, so we need them to be really diligent with their uh, rehab and, and get back um, playing as quick as we can. Um, yeah, but really disappointing and, and really feel for both of them. What about your long-suffering members? Have you got some words for those loyal fans who would be doing it tough as well? Well, really, it's yeah, ne never as bad as it seems, never as good as it seems. I mean, round one's just one round. Um, round two's... We're, we're on to round two. We've got to move on and, and get better, and um, I expect a really solid performance and, and better performance this week. With your decimated forward line, would you consider playing Nat Fife as a permanent forward during these matches? Uh, yeah, a lot of things are on the table. You know, when he goes forward, he's able to take the opposition's best defender as well. And that, that was the same on the weekend, which you know, gives our other players one-on-one -on -one look. So we'll keep throwing it around, um, but we want him to impact um, the game as, most, as, as best he can. It's hard to rob Peter to pay Paul, no doubt. The club has asked for a review of the guidelines that led to Josh Tracy being unable to play until round five in the AFL. What are you trying to achieve there? Well, we just think it's a you know, harsh penalty for... Um, for what happened um, and you know we understand this anomaly with the fixtures not aligning at the moment and um, you know to, for him to in essence get a four four week band um, you know it's, it's a little bit unfair so um, yeah in short we'd, we'd like him to be available and um, up for selection so um, we'll see what the, the AFL and the, and the Waffle come to. Will Heath Chapman and Sean Darcy both play against the Giants? Yeah, well, Sean's a, a really good chance. Um, we probably gave him the extra week of training. Um, gave him a good hit out on Sunday when we got back from Melbourne. And, um, you know, if he gets through full training, he'll be, you know, he'll be a, a chance. Um, Chappie's put in two solid performances at Peel and um, looks not far off. So we'll throw his name up at match committee and, and see where it lands. All right, well, good luck on Sunday. It'll be great to be in, back in front of the Purple Army, won't it? Thanks, Barry. Appreciate it, mate.